Hello everyone, welcome to Techie QA channel. So in this video, we are going to see about the tool called Lighthouse. So what is this tool is actually doing in uh, software testing? So name is Lighthouse. If you see, it's a tool for web developers as well as uh, as a tester, we can also use it and we can improve the web applications. So when you read about Lighthouse, it's an automation tool for improving the quality of web pages. So it's for us also for software tester also so what exactly it will do is like it will audit your performance of web application for example uh, client side as well as server side client side in the sense rendering and javascript downloading so everything like progressive web how it happening then uh, server side in the sense how much time it's taking uh, to download the javascript and content and accessibility like uh, what are the like right tag name is there or not so whatever accessibility check is there uh, everything it will check automatically so how can we do that let's see like we can do with uh, one chrome dev tools and other way we can install it so here is the command to install npm install minus g lighthouse globally we have to install it just enter the command npm install minus g lighthouse so the guys one who can run the npm command only they can install it otherwise they cannot so what you can do you can set a npm path and then you can install if you don't have node.js you cannot run npm so you just guys hold on no need to install i will tell you other method how to get it done without installing uh, like a lighthouse with command prompt also we can do so now we have installed now what we have to do copy this and for this purpose, I'm going to take uh, what? I'm going to take justdial.com. So I will copy the justdial.com. Go here, lighthouse, space. Maybe what I will do? Yeah. Lighthouse, space the website so you have to start from protocol that means http or https otherwise it won't work just enter it so what will happen it will launch the browser and uh, it will do all the check it will load the page and it will run uh, like viewport it will check the viewport as well as accessibility so it's retrieving all the data from the web page font size meta description everything so it will check it on mobile it's like automation tool we are not going to do anything with this yeah it's finally done you can see printer html output here like last before line you can see this so it's stored in user derma as html file now i can open that particular location so we have two just double click on this html file yeah here is the nice report you can see the performance they are giving it 33 percent because uh, there are lots of issue like minimize the main thread work main thread is taking too much time 8.9 or uh, second and avoid ex excessive dom size uh, in the sense yeah see that is from progressive web from performance like like content speed index time interactive so uh, cpu first cpu ideal is only eight second then input latency is like 1360 millisecond now we'll go to the next like uh, yeah you have lot of doms actually so the actual dom node should be less than or approximately 1500 and uh, ch child and parent should be uh, fewer than 60 if it is good if you have larger uh, dom size it will cost more as as analysis analytics said so they have given uh, analysis also which one is good and why it's bad reduce javascript execution time so they have given uh, a nice suggestion as well as they're not simply telling uh, performance 33 percent and the uh, progressive is 58 percent accessibility 44 best practice 73 seo they have done well 100 percent so that's what they are telling so if it is 73 so you will get this color that's that's no problem 
and wherever you have done even not only finding the bugs as well as the accessibility check link does not have any name so there is some link they does not have any name and uh, the page does not contain adding skip link so uh, they have given example code also okay and they are checking seo so seo side whatever you have done good you will get like uh, they are fine see avoid application catch and use https and pages html doc type that and all done so that and all fine actually so they are checking everything from their side so whatever is not uh, uh, matching so they will say as a issue as well as they will give a suggestion also this report as much as possible you can um, uh, read it if it is something it's not necessary you can leave it so HTTP yes if you don't use it for a dev version or a, like QA environment you don't need to mention that because production environment will have HTTPS so this report you can share this HTML file you can share with the developer so you can discuss like like when we are running we have used simulated fast 3G network okay that also you can keep in mind like you, you it will be there no problem it will be there in the report now so this is one way of taking the report another simple way is there just close this go back to any web page so now we are in just dial so what i'm going to do i will just uh, like any web page right click on it just right click on inspect audit so you have to click here then last one the audit will be there here you have to choose you can choose actually so th the device the last time we have run with mobile that's why we have seen mobile screen now we are going to run with desktop and the performance what and all we are going to check so i will check everything best practice accessibility seo and uh, there is no throttling so i don't want to do any throttling as of now see here uh, we can mention simulated to 3g 4x cpu slowdown so you are trying to test the web application with slowdown cpu 4x slowdown so uh, it will clear before run it so when i run it the lighthouse will start then it will run from the uh, browser side and it will collect all the data so how it was running in the, the command prompt so when we are running in the command prompt by default it was taking mobile so when we are doing from browser we can actually choose and we can choose what report we want or if you want only accessibility we can so as the number of element pages increases from 467 the probability of conversion drops 95 percent so think with google so they are giving some tips how to build a good web application so there are some see going to no network page yeah almost there lighthouse is now generating the report so it will generate the report and it will show you how oh, cool the same application with mobile the performance was showing so i think uh, i think i will open the recent one wait yeah the performance was 33 for mobile the same application with web it's 99 so then there is a problem with web uh, web like there is a problem with mobile view so that you can tell to the developer mobile view there is a problem so progressive web app also same issue is there uh, here it's 58 okay now it's so bad it's 27 accessibility is 41 here is 44 accessibility is still same so if you go with accessibility image element do not have alt alt attribute so like as much as possible check they will do and give it to you when the button does not have an accessible name the screen reader announced it as a button making it unusable for user lay on screen reader okay so it won't be your screen reader okay then additionally item manual check so this and all you can check it manually and past audit so there are some uh, element described content well elements are well structured it doesn't turn all well actually so that's why they have given okay fine see okay the best practice uses document dot write but it's missing it seems for slow connection external script dynamically inject your document write 
okay so if you are using maybe you have to vulnerability detected there is one vulnerability detected with this bootstrap some third party script may contain this third party they are using right this okay if bootstrap we have to use it we have to use it there is no other way uses deprecated api so boomerang boomerang api is deprecated it seems so but still they are using so seo if we go with the web seo it just 70 percent okay so we can share with developer and we can sit with them and we can discuss like which one we have to focus really uh, like matters if it is not matters actually we can leave it but we'll get some at least some good idea when we are comparing to other website uh, if we have some competitor website what we can do we can use our competitor website also and we can check how much seo they have done from their side what they have missed and what they have done it we can get that knowledge as well this is from business people actually this what this for business people they can use this way so you can view trace and there is a screenshot as well okay okay guys so today we have seen how to do web application like performance check performance audit so we haven't tested actually we have audit we just uh, injected it was just giving all the analysis so now we have to check manually is this right or not we we cannot always lay on the tool but we, we at least uh, get some report based on that we can check the particular places instead of testing everything we can check some particular places okay okay guys thanks for watching if you have any queries please let us know and if you have any doubt put into comments please subscribe our channel for more videos like this if you have anything if you want to learn or if you have any tool in your mind you want to create a uh, videos or if you want any support please put into comments we will help you thank you again